Bees have been around for millions of years, pollinating our plants and producing delicious honey. A world without these hard-working winged invertebrates is becoming more of a possibility, as these important insects are in severe decline. Bees are vital to the pollination process, for both the feed we need to survive and many of the trees and flowers that provide habitats for wildlife. Engineers are researching new technologies to help support bees around the world. There are projects redesigning hives so they are more resistant to disease, and robotic replica flowers that can automatically produce nectar and pollen when bees are nearby. As well as this, scientists are developing synthetic systems that could one day take over the vital job of pollinating our crops. For this project, we are going to show you how to make a mechanical blooming flower model. It will teach you about the features of flowering plants that are so important to pollinating insects and their supporting ecosystems. At the same time, it will help us to think about how engineers might, in the future, develop robotic systems that could imitate the function of flowering plants in struggling ecosystems, therefore saving important species like bees from extinction. For this challenge, you will need the following items, and a full list is available on our website. Let's get started. We will begin by building the winch system for your mechanical flower. Using a sharp skewer, make a hole in either side of the flower pot. You may need to ask an adult for help with this. Once the holes are large enough, push a short length of straw through each one and thread the kebab stick through the pot to form the spool of the winch system. Secure the base of the pot onto our cardboard base and then attach the stalk to the bottom of the plant pot. Adding some pieces of cardboard inside will help stabilise the stalk and keep it upright. Next, glue the plastic bottle top to the top of the stalk and using coloured straws, make a stamen and stigma for the flower. Now we will make the petals. To draw the shape, mark a 12cm long line. Then, measure 6cm along it and draw a perpendicular 6cm long line. Join the straight lines with the curved lines to create our petal shape. Finally, add a tab at the end which will connect the petal to the top of our stem. We can now cut out this petal and use it as a template to make three more. To finish the petals, we will cover them in brightly coloured felt to attract pollinators. To prepare the petals for connection to the winch system, cut slits in the tips and sides of each one. Then, glue a straw just below each of the slits at the tip. To attach the petals to the stalk, glue the cardboard tabs around the edge of the plastic bottle cap. Make sure the side of the petal with a straw stuck on it is facing outwards. Then cover the cardboard with a length of felt to form the sepal of the flower. So that the flower closes again after blooming, the petals need to be connected with elastic bands. Cut four elastic bands in two and tie the knots on both ends. Then slide the bands into the slits on either side of the petals so that the knots act as stoppers. Make sure the bands are long enough to connect the two petals without being pulled tightly when the flower is in a closed position. To begin connecting the petals to the winch system, slide lengths of string through the slits in the tips of the petals and tie a knot to act as a stopper on each one. Then thread each string through the straw on the petal. We will now create a stopper system that will prevent the flower from opening too widely. First, tie a large knot in each of the four strings. Then, thread a piece of straw over the knot and glue it in place. Sticking four pieces of straw to the stalk will provide a narrow opening which the stopper will be unable to pass through. Now trim the strings and tie an elastic band to the end of each one. To complete the winch system, thread a long length of string through the two elastic bands hanging on one side of the stem. Then, wrap the string around the kebab stick and tie the ends together to create a continuous loop. After adjusting the string so it is not too tight when the flower is in closed position, use hot glue to secure the string to the spool. We will then repeat this step for the two elastic bands on the other side of the model. Now connect the motor to the winch spool by pushing the end of the kebab stick into the hole on the side of the motor and using hot glue to secure it. To keep the motor still while it is on, stack some small pieces of card to raise it to the height of the spool and glue the card and motor to the base. 
Arrange the end of the wires so there is a 3cm gap between them. Then secure the wires to the base using hot glue. The mechanical flower will be controlled by a switch that can reverse the direction of the spool. To create the switch, wrap the metal ends of the battery wires around paper clips. Then slide the paper clips into a piece of card and position them 3cm apart. Drawing a design on either side of the switch will help us to distinguish between them. When the paper clips make contact with the ends of the motor wires, the circuit will be complete and the winch will start to wind. If the paper clips are removed, the circuit is broken and the winch will stop. To reverse the winding motion, we can flip the switch over to reconnect the circuit with the batteries wired in the opposite direction. You can find out more about the science behind the mechanical flower model, step-by-step -step instructions and a quiz to test your knowledge in our accompanying worksheet. And for more hands-on projects to try at home, visit imeke.org forward slash stem at home.